I'm back for another session. Yesterday, I wasn't happy with the photos that I got yesterday, so I've come back to the same location to shoot again. Well, I've got here at least half an hour earlier than yesterday, so I have more time in the water. I have more time while the sun is perfect. This time around, I didn't know, but this shore break was quite shallow and threw out quite a lot. So this time I've got my Sigma 15mm lens and I'm gonna give that a go, try get right into the barrel, try get some wide shots. Hopefully the sun will be right in position and I'll get the sun in the wave as well. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. What would be good as well is if I get the famous, not famous shot, but the really good shot of the sun in the barrel looking out and the sun will make a full circle. Now that shot is, you have to be in the exact right place at the right time to get that shot. And it's tough, but I'm still trying to nail one. I almost nailed one last winter. Check out this shot. And that was close, it didn't really throw, but it was close. I'm gonna try again, I'll try now. Let's see how we go. Okay dudes, ready to do this. The camera setting's all ready. We got a couple little shore breaks here. Sun setting, perfect. Oh yeah, it looks all right. I've got the GoPro set at 120 frames per second. So you're gonna get some really slow-mo stuff. It's gonna be good. No fence. Oh, the water's cold. The sun's still sort of getting lower and lower. So I've got a good hour or so. I'm at a peak here where I'm trying to get the lookout barrel shot. So it just depends on which wave is going to cooperate. Oh, patience. Oh, I want to be there. Magic hour. Time to get these shots. I just got a good one. It was really good. I got my shutter speed at 1 1 1600. F stops about 5.6 and then my ISO is 160. You got to really jump into that tube. They're so small. I got to jump in there and get that shot. Even if it's just one frame. Um, even if it's just one frame, that's all I need. But my camera only shoots five frames per second, so it is a bit hard. Not the best, but I was just trying to get into this pack. Oh, the light's getting so good now. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get this bloody shot.
perfect, I was just too late. Damn it. That's all I've got in me. That was about an hour, hour and a bit out there. And it was okay. I think I got a couple good waves. I think it was, you really had to dive to get into them, which is good. Hey guys, well, thanks for watching this episode. Um, and it gives you a good idea on the difference between a long lens and a, a fish eye lens. Learned my lesson yesterday. This spot's better with a fish eye. But if I got here earlier, I would have got better shots with the long lens yesterday, but I didn't. Keep trying and, you, and you'll get it eventually. We're shooting the mini waves in the shore break. I found you really had to dive to get into the right position because it's really hard to time it um, by just sitting still. So you have to dive and get into the barrel and try to look out. If the waves were bigger, it would be easier to shoot in the barrel because you know this housing is really big and it's hard to get the whole thing into these little barrels. But anyway, I got a good couple and I think it worked out okay. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos and I'll be doing some more sessions in and around the Gold Coast. Um, yeah, hope to see you out in the water one day. Cheers, guys.